Yeah, Michael has a little piece of surgical tape over the eye, medically safe. Yeah, I know, uh, but they're, they're uh, like in the States, that's not allowed, you know, prior to a... Uh, there was a fight. rules conference before this bout in which that was debated, and uh, now the Australian's in with it. Now, there's a very heavy psychic battle going on there with the boys giving the eye. Alan Barry giving the big stare there. Which one will crack? Uh, I don't think anyone's going to crack till after the first bout. This is, gets to be quite a hype, and uh, you know I think it gets overdone. Uh, just to, just gets to be a little too much. It seems every fighter uh, now goes in the center of the ring trying to stare the other one down, and it gets to a point it sometimes becomes a joke. But I don't think this one is a joke. There seems to be some very uh, uh, strong feelings between the two. Uh, Ron, you've seen Earthquake Carter in action. I've seen him in just about all of his professional now fights. Now bows in prayer before the first bell rings. You're Rory gonna... Michael at the apex of a career. Is he going to go on towards world title? Well, the winner of this fight will definitely be fighting for a title in the near future. You're going to watch Al as a good boxer, tremendous puncher. He's always dangerous. He can hit with either hand. Barry's uh, got the experience. He may have fought better fighters, but uh, Al Carter is probably the most feared, lightweight prospect in the world today. Michael moving nicely in these early seconds as he just slides away from the jabbing attacks. Barry has a reputation of having a very good chin. And what I want to tell you, Donnie has a very good body shot. I can see He's looking to go under the elbows of Al. This is a situation where... Nice head moving by the Australian champion. Powerful left grip by Barry Martin of Australia. It's really going to be a question of if Barry can withstand the power of Al Cotters. And what's going to happen with his body punches in the later rounds? Al has never gone 10 rounds. He's knocked out everything that he's fought. He scored 19 KOs in a row. He has 23 out of 24. I saw the fight where he got stopped by four swing punches. And he got stopped simply because he, he fell to the canvas and he sprained his leg. And he was hobbling around and they stopped the fight. Uh, that's the only time he's been stopped. Winchester refused him. He's Earthquake pulls into the canvas with a tug behind the neck. Devastating blows by the American fighter. And Barry, as he stood those, he took those shots without flinching. straight after his own good slug. Michael needs to hold that left hand out. A dynamite stinger with that right hand by Carter which jumps home again on the jerk. Can he, can he withstand the shock punching of Carter? Michael got away with the first big punch, staggered Carter. He was very close to Dick there as he was flung backwards, but becomes most dangerous when hurt, as we see, because he came back with a slashing right hand on the button. Michael was indeed in trouble. Scoring for the first round. Uh, I gave the first round uh, to Carter because of the ending of the fight. 
number nine. I didn't see it that way. In fact, I had uh, an even round with Michael, perhaps uh, taking it by a shade on uh, affecting the match. Who's yours? Uh, round two. Into round two, and Michael knows that the right hand counter of Carter is a devastator. He must keep that left hand up high. You've got to keep in mind that Al can punch down. That uh, He should be able to reach Barry with those right hands and those left hands. Oh, another good one. <laughs> Barry has been here with some of the best shots you could, you could imagine, and he's standing up for those shots, and he's fighting back. He's got some chin that's good. He works very well inside. Carter's going to make a mistake staying on the ropes. He's got to get off the ropes. Because that's where it can be dangerous. Michael's strength telling at this early stage. seen Barry hit like this before Don Elbow. No, no one believe it. Carter, I think, is, is maybe the best punch, one punch lightweight and probably the hardest punching lightweight in the world today. And incredibly, even though he's got some early knockouts, uh, he seems to really get going. Alan talking about more like in the third, fourth, and fifth rounds. Uh, he started very fast. But I guess he started fast because Barry's putting the pressure on him. situation that Al has to keep uh, Barry in the end of that long left hand, set him up, put the combination together, and Barry has to get inside. Strong and left hook by the Australian yeah. champion. Dragging yeah. hand to the head of Carter. Yeah. Carter is dangerous when he's pinned in the corner, he flurries underneath with other guys. So when Jim worked out, they were comparing Carter, Joe Brown, and the Freddie Dawson, which we can't compliment anyone more. The time will tell. And I must say this, I'm very impressed with Barry, with his, with his chin, uh, with the way he fights. He's aggressive, he's a very good body puncher. And he's got to be one of the best fighters.